All right, welcome to another edition of A Glass from the Past. Uh, today I am trying something that I was really excited to try when I saw what it was. Um, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is a collaboration between Firestone Walker and Three Floyds. This was done back in May of 2014, and this is a barley wine. Um, so they say. Uh, you see that it pours, you know, copper, orangey colored, um, fairly low head. Um, my first impression of this, as far as the aromatics, uh, mostly citrus and pine, which suggests hops, of course, followed by a fruity, caramely backdrop. And of course, that's reference to the, the malt character of this beer. Um, on the palate, I got caramel toffee malt character. It's ultimately uh, becoming fruity, toasty, and nutty, and, and dry at the finish. Um, what I thought was really odd was I got a, a very unexpected ashy smoky note to this uh, at the back of the, the mid taste. Very odd. Um, hop flavor is lacking in this beer, but the bittering is quite firm. Um, this is, you know, obviously double IPA barley wine territory. Uh, the finish is, of course, very lengthy uh, with plenty of throat warming. This is a 10 plus ABV. Mouthfeel is very viscous as well as flabby. And what I mean by that is the CO2 is virtually gone from this beer. So it, it, it tastes very flat across the palate, which, you know, the flavors don't pop the way you'd want them to or expect them to. Without question, this is one of the strangest barley wines I have ever tasted. Um, the flavors are a little bit muddled and disjointed. Uh, my suggestion is to either drink it right now or pawn it off on somebody who doesn't know any better, okay? So remember that every beer is an education. Cheers.